Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's video, learning Revit, I want to talk about levels. This is a very simple topic, but important because it's going to help you understand how Revit behaves. Uh, we're going to go through how we can set up levels, how we can edit them, how we can change uh, the base point or the survey point because it's going to give us a different elevation or different height in our uh, model. Without further ado, let's jump into Revit so we can review. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. In today's episode, uh, we're going to talk about levels. It's a very simple topic, but important. And I want to uh, go over all the details about levels. You guys know everything about it. And it's going to help you understand how Revit behaves. Uh, first of all, what is level? If you want to show a very important elevation or datum, you need to have level. If you want to show a top of footing, top of slab, top of the wall, parapet, roof, you need a level to basically show that. So if you want to show important datum, you need levels. Where do you want to get access to it? You need to go to the architecture tab all the way down to datum. You can see levels over here next to grids. The uh, problem here is the grid is uh, the level is grayed out, and the reason is I am in floor plan. You cannot create levels in floor plan. You must be in elevation views. So let's jump to elevation views. I'm gonna select east. This is a real project. You guys can see a level showed up already. So this is basically. Uh, turned on tells me that I can create levels here But before we do this, let's just kind of get close to these items see what we have, right? Uh, so there is like some uh, Info right there uh, that we're gonna go through one by one explain what they are so I'm gonna select these right there uh, as soon as I select there's gonna be a bunch of items around it so the first one is these uh, check mark you can hide the bubble and then info on one end and only have it on uh, like the other end or you want to do both ends so it's up to you it's simply check uncheck it's going to take away the bubble and all the info on it if i select this uh, little lightning bulb right there i go on this one you can see this lightning so that's basically add the elbow to it you can kind of take it back exactly to the actual area and that showed up again you can click on it if you have a bunch of closed level uh, in a small space you can um, add these elbow and then just move them a little bit so it's more readable uh, this is going to be the elevation of this level you can click on it adjust the elevation this is going to be a certain height from a certain point that we're going to talk about uh, the next one is the name of these levels. So if you guys notice, each level has a specific name associated with a floor plan to it. So I have R2, R2 over there, L4, like F5, um, F5, L4, like all of these of my levels. And basically I have... Um, associated level and you have noticed I don't have R1 and that's the difference between these two colors so you guys can see right here I have blue and white blue means I have a level and associated view or floor plan to it might be a RCP or what so I have associated view with this level this one does not have an associated view so if I look at here I, I do not see R1 Right, but I can see F5, L4, and I'm going to show you how to create those or remove them. The other item is uh, just if you want to, let me change this to it's L4. Let me just make it S4. 
so if I change this name it's gonna give me a uh, basically a confirmation it's gonna tell me do you want to change this name and also the associated floor plan or the associated views with this level so everybody knows what is the view for this level I'm gonna say yes and you guys notice this L4 should change to S4 so this is something that you'll be able to see this is going to be the lock it means you can see all of these lines basically all of these uh, bubbles and then lines are connected if I move one everything is going to move on the same line if you want to only work with one level you can remove the constraint and just move it by itself and these 2d means that levels are shown in 2d views but not 3d views and i'm going to show you how to change to 3d views if you want to have it so this is basically everything about what you have for the levels when you're dealing with a real project when you get you can see all of this info so right now let's just kind of start our project and then see how we can create a level let me open just a simple project real quick and then see how it looks like so uh, it's gonna open up there you go um, so as you can see right off the bat um, it's open up a floor plan let me close these ones um, I see I have architectural level one and level two I should have uh, level one and level two and we did talk about that I cannot create levels in floor plans I have to go to elevations so these are predefined elevations in Revit it's gonna get you started you can click on the east you see this is gonna show up and I have my two levels right L2 L1 which is right there so what I'm gonna do let's just easily start what we have so as soon as I click on this it basically start uh, a temp dimension is gonna tell me okay you want to go nine feet yes or no and you can adjust all of these later on like it's not something uh, very important let's just start from this point let's say all the way to this point uh, and then you can see right here uh, it's like a few let me select the line if I want to show the bubble click on it so you see right here is a 3d and then 2d if I click on these it basically showing that these views if I go to my 3d view all of these grids as uh, all of these levels is gonna show up in my 3d view if you don't want to see them you just select the 2d and it's gonna be only on your elevation views this is gonna be my temp um, you can basically adjust this little spacing between your levels if you want to adjust it let's say 10 feet simply click it it's going to be adjusted and it's going to be the adjust elevation from your uh, survey point or the base point and this is very important so these elevations that you see that's going to be from your base point or survey point of the project and you need to define that when you're creating your levels in your project this is really really important and I want to show you how to do that so this is basically all two levels about how to create it how to adjust it like move it up and down is not like really because as soon as I go I can like simply move it up or down with the movement tool or I can adjust with this dimension and be more specific so when I click on this you guys can see I have a few uh basically properties for the grids so the first one is the elevation that is going to show and you can adjust that the story above that's the def default so basically is going to follow the same story above it and give the dimension between that this is going to be the computation height um so it's going to give you when you have a like a uh, use for compute room perimeters volumes and stuff like that when you're basically creating a scope box is gonna tell you what you want to see visible right grades and levels view uh, overall so you can select that or you want to see none or grids uh, and levels only or you want to say I don't want to see any of those so this is you can basically select that uh, this is going to be the name of that level that we talked about so I created level L3 
uh, it is blue that I talked about and basically kind of created floor or view for this. Um, this is going to be the structural. So if you want to have these grid that you create be a part of the primary structural, just check that box and it's going to be included. Uh, the building story, uh, this is a fun, it work as a, like a building level or story when you kind of add a different one. Uh, the other two, it's going to be the IFC, that's going to be by type. So if you want to export uh, this element uh, as to an IFC file, if you want the type setting for IFC export, you say by type, and this is the GUID for that element. So this is kind of all about the properties that we have. Let's just try two simple things. So when I click on this, you guys notice that it has make a plan view. So if I click on this box, it basically open up the views. This is going to tell you what plan or what views you want to create with this level. So I'm telling him I want to have architectural ceiling and architectural plan. So if I go, let's say from here to here, um, and then if you look here, I created L4, L4 for the ceiling, for the floor. And then all of them should be, as we talked about, blue because it has associated views with this. So if I don't, let's say you don't want to create, you just uncheck this box, and let's just create another one over there. You guys will be able to see that that's going to be just white because we do not have any associated with any views associated with that level. So this is really, really important. We want to make sure as soon as you click on this, uh, you take care of your uh, plan view types, see what type of view you want to associate with that level, select them so you'll be able to see all. So let's go to edit type, right? So I want to select this one, go to uh, the properties. I want to create my family for my levels. Uh, let's just duplicate before we start. We just put level practice. Uh, the first thing uh, for this family, uh, the type is level that we talk about it. This is really important. So when you set up your levels, you want to make sure what is these elevations are shown. What are the based off of? Is based off of your survey point elevations or project base points. So this is really important. Just be aware. You just not start, you know, putting uh, elevate levels in your model. First, double check. See what is the constraints that you have for the elevation base. So, if you have a survey data, you want to go off of your survey point, and you have a real world elevation. Pick that. If you want to go based on your architectural, you have a certain elevation. Pick your project base point. Let's just pick the project base point. This is going to be the line weight. Uh, you know, uh, different type. Want to make it smaller or bigger? Uh, color, anything I want to go with green for now for this one, let's say uh, this is going to be the line pattern. It has a different size. Anything that you want is going to be dotted, grid lines, dash, and whatnot. Leave it that way. The circle uh, for basically for the simple, you want to have a circle or you don't have, you don't want to see anything. I just leave it on that. And th these are basically shows the two ends of the level. Uh, you, if you want to have the bubble or the info showing on only one end or on both ends. So this is the right side. This is the left side. So end one and two on this side. So I have both. Uh, and then export type to IFC with the talk about, you know, uh, default, just use the category mapping settings for IFC export. I'm going to leave it on this. And then this is going to be the ID. So apply. Okay, done. Um, so if I basically, this one I already selected as a level practice, but let's just do another one. I want to go over here, select mine. Let's just put something over here. So you can see as soon as I put over there, because I selected both ends, I have the bubble 
on both sides shown with the level name and information and I already want to create plan type for those two so I should see blue yes green that I selected and I have L6 for the RCP and the architectural plan that I selected for my project and if you want to have these dimension temp dimension already created you'll be able to easily uh, adjust them over there so this is all about the levels in Revit. Um, just to recap, I want to make sure that you guys are aware where that elevation is based off of because most people see that elevation and they don't know what is the base for this. So you need to define that is on your survey or your base point. This is important. And then you want to have an associated view for your level, yes or no, what type of view? Ceiling, floor plan, structural, electrical and whatnot, you select that. And also, if you want to add a, uh, like an elbow constraint or anything to it, that's going to be, you know, later on to make it more readable for your user. But the most important one is going to be your base point, survey point, and also your kind of associated views with your level. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the content, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.